Well, hi there. Plugins can extend WordPress to do almost anything. They are a set of functions written in PHP that integrate with the blog through the WordPress plugin API. Our plugin will be a widget that displays a list of articles retrieved from the IDQtis RSS channel. To create the plugin, we'll set up the required file structure, write an information header, and write the actual code. Later, we'll test the plugin. To start, we need to create the files necessary for WordPress to recognize our plugin. Go to the plugins directory, which is typically under the WP content directory of your WordPress installation. Create a directory for your plugin. Choose a descriptive and unique name. Your WordPress plugin must have at least one PHP file. In the directory you just created, create a PHP plugin file with the same name. The file you just created will be your main plugin file. The top of this file must contain a number of comments that are the standard plugin information header. This lets WordPress recognize your plugin and list it on the plugin management screen. Start your favorite text editor on the main plugin file. Put a comment at the beginning of the file. This comment should contain the following information. Plugin name, this is our plugin's name. Plugin URI, this is the address where people who download your plugin can find information on it. Description, short description of the plugin. Version of the plugin. The author's name and the author's web page. You now have a valid plugin, but one without any functionality. To have WordPress run any of our code, we can create functions that hook into the WordPress actions through its API. As we are writing a widget, our class must extend WP widget. We should implement a constructor function, same name as our class. Then a widget function, which is responsible for rendering the widget's body. Next is an update function. This function should check whether the new instance is set correctly. And the last one is a form function. This function renders the widget settings form. To separate out the logic, we will create a function called IDC RSS display to contain the code for retrieving XML from our RSS channel and parsing it. That function will be called from our widget function. Next, to have our plugin initialized, we have to hook our function to a WordPress action. We do this with the add action call and provide parameters for the widget init action and add the IDC RSS widget init function. This function, in turn, registers our widget by calling the widget API's register widget function with the parameters of our widgets class. Okay, we have our code template with the class and function names. I'll just need a minute to fill this in the actual logic. Right, this is what I have. Since our plugin is a widget, we have a class that extends WP widget. The constructor for this class just calls parents constructor and overrides the name which will appear on the list of available widgets. The widget function is responsible for rendering the widget. 
after writing out the widget's title, it calls the IDC RSS display function. The update function just returns a new instance of the widget. The form function is implemented to give us control over the widget's title. You will see how we set the title after adding our widget. Now, this IDC RSS display function connects to the RSS feed, parses it, and renders the content. We still have our call to add action to initialize our widget, and the function that registers our IDC RSS widget init class. Once that code is saved, we can go into WordPress and test our new plugin widget. Start a web browser and navigate to your WordPress page. We are going to place our widget in the right sidebar below the search field. Log in to the administration interface. In the dashboard, go to Plugins. Our plugin is displayed in the list. Click the Activate link under the plugin name. Once activated, we can use the plugin widget. Go to Appearance, then Widgets. Locate our widget and place it in the main sidebar area. Enter a title and click Save. See how that looks on our main page. Our widget is in the sidebar right where we placed it, and it looks like it's working. That's all there is to creating a plugin with a widget for WordPress. If you want more information, check our webpage. There you'll also find the source code demonstrated here. Bye-bye, until next time.